Today, we're going to be talking about what the Corporate Citizen Playbook will do for you. This webinar is at 5 p.m. I suggest you be there because we're getting ready to get into the Corporate Sprint. What is the Corporate Sprint? The Corporate Sprint is starts next Sunday where I'll be online to answer your questions to correspond, to relate to you on the things that you need to do to set up your holding company, to set up your operating company, to set up your corporate banking. Now, we're going to get into this sprint because I want everyone that's in the Corporate Citizen Playbook to have a corporation to get it done, to get it set up so we can move to the next level. So this is gonna be the first corporate sprint. We're gonna be having other corporate sprints. So what you wanna do, is be at the webinar and what you want to do is get enrolled in the corporate citizen playbook because it is what i think the 18th the 19th of june so we got 12 more days before the price goes up now will the corporate citizen playbook be done nope will not be done but we should be at about 15 hours and that's more than enough stuff to get you started. And then there's more things you get. You get the money management course, which is free. You get the productivity course. You get, there's so many, many things you, you get. So once again, be there today at 5 p.m. The link is below. So let's get into this video. I got a question. I got a question for you guys. How many of you men would date a woman that you absolutely know she's going to cheat on you how many men would date a woman that she is getting with you let's go ahead and say you are a certain person of a certain prestige and this woman is only getting with you to get in your circle so she can go ahead and move on and date the next man once again you 100% know that this woman is trying to date someone else. You know that this woman is not going to be loyal to you. You know that this woman is not going to look in your best interest. You know this woman, if you were to get sick and to be in the hospital, she would not be there. How many of you would date this woman? How many? Would you, would you, would you? And, you know, to go ahead and to answer your questions, the majority of you would not date this woman knowing for a fact that this woman is going to cheat on you. Which brings me to working for me. I have seen so many people talk about mentorship. Hey, Glendon, I want to work for you. All right, let me go ahead and drop some stuff here. Why would I hire you to work with me when I know that you want to only be around me to get certain things so you can dip? You're absolutely the worst employee in the world to hire. I mean, I got a whole bunch of people. Hey, I want to work for you. I want to work for you. I want to work for you. Um, you know, I, literally the, the number of people who've been going up talking about you know, or I want to work for you or I want you to be a mentor. All right. Which requires me mentor. There's never anything about, Hey, do you offer any paid member? No, 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 no. It's like, Hey, will you help me for free? Can I come work for you? You pay me so I can get paid to learn what I need to learn so I can dip. Now, Years and years ago, I went to work for rent crate and I learned what I needed to learn and I dipped. Then I worked for Panel Systems Unlimited. <clears throat> I needed to learn what I needed to learn so I can dip. And then I worked for business environments and I learned what I needed to learn so I can dip. Now, here's the thing. When I entered into rent crate I didn't know that was gonna be my trajectory. I was just happy to get this job. I was just happy to be working those hours. It was like, man, this is crazy. This is awesome. This is great. And one of the things that I found out is 
I worked for these companies. I worked really hard. Uh, Renacrate was using the leads that I had generated eight months after I had left. So I did a really good job. So here's the thing. They're like, let me go ahead and explain to you. In the future, I will be hiring more people, but I'm going to be hiring people looking for jobs. I'm going to be hiring people looking for a job. I'm looking at hiring people who want a paycheck because here's the thing. I would never hire any of my entrepreneur friends to work with me on a per hour basis or work for me 40. I would never, you know, it would always be some type of partnership where it would be equally beneficial. But I mean, come on guys, like, this whole, I want to work with you. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. Dude, <sighs> you guys are like the worst employees in the world to hire. I mean, why would I hire someone I know that only wants to be around me so they can learn what they can learn so they can dip? I mean, you know, it, like I said, it, it's getting to be um, like I'm getting emails. I'm getting comments on my Instagram and the Instagram thing, which is kind of funny. I don't have that many followers on Instagram. So people are finding my Instagram. People are leaving comments. People are emailing me. People are messaging me. I want to work for you. Here's the thing for working for me. Like uh, at some point this year, I'm going to hire a customer service rep. And uh, more than likely, it's going to be a woman maybe a man, but more likely be a woman. And I'm going to hire someone that needs a job, not someone who wants, because essentially th this is the thing. Uh, I hire people who are self-motivated because the last group of people I hired, I didn't even show up in the office. They were working in the office, doing the things that they needed to do. So, you know, this whole learn from me, work for me so you can learn. Um, I would suggest that you just sign up for the class, sign up for the Corporate Citizen Playbook. That's where you will get to learn. And um, I have a lot of people, oh, this is another thing. I have a lot of people calling me, but they won't leave a message. I literally had someone call me three times in a row. Like, look, let me explain something to you. I am not gonna hire someone to just be sitting around and wait for a phone to ring. Once the phone activity gets up there in a few months, they'll get there. I'll hire someone. But this whole notion of I need to talk to you. <sighs> All right. Let me go ahead and explain something. I cannot scale a business if you want to talk to me. There's no way for me to scale me. You want to know why? Because there's only so many hours in the day. There's only so much time. So. If you want to talk, because, you know, a lot of people, which I found to be funny because of the way I set it up, the phone number is it has a voicemail on it and it has instructions to leave your message or to text and we'll text you back. Because, you know, one of the worst things that I hated, and this has happened years and years ago, when I had a storefront, I hated sitting in the store waiting for people to show up to buy. I hated that. And I'm just not going to set up a phone service system. And once again, in the future, there'll be someone answering the phone. It won't be me. I mean, th this is where I think a lot of you fail to understand how businesses grow. Because I, I know uh, years ago when I had Valencia and I had her on here doing YouTube, y'all hated that. Y'all absolutely hated that. So with me building out this business, scaling this business, growing this business and doing the things that I need to do, I'm going to hire people who are skilled. I'm going to be hiring some salespeople. I'm going to be hiring some customer service reps. I'm not going to be hiring anybody who wants to be good and hire me so I can be up under you so I can learn everything you know. And this is something else too. For you to be under me and to learn everything I know, you probably have to work for me for three to five years three to five years to learn everything. And once again, this whole notion of, because I just put this in the classification of dating a woman that you know gonna cheat on you. 
it, that's what it is. I'm like, why would I do that? You wouldn't do it. Why should I do it? Questions? Put this in the comment section. Because there, there's so many people who want to be around me, who want to talk to me. And I, I'm about to be 100% transparent. Talking to me is going to be one of the most expensive things you can do. There's a reason that I do webinars. There's a reason I do group training. Because to sit there, like, uh, I had someone message me talking about they wanted to set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom. Um, one of the things that, even with people I do business with, I am really, I say no to most things. I say no to most things. Because, be straight up. Uh, I can be on the phone talking to someone, or I can be laid up in the bed with my girlfriend. Guess what I want to do? <laughs> Take a wild guess what I want to do. So this whole notion of uh, working for you, working for me, and um, being a part of the Glendon Cameron Network with the whole intention of bouncing is very unappealing to me. It's just not going to work. And um, please stop with the message. It's like, hey, how can I apply the work for you? Because here's the thing. And let me go ahead and explain some stuff to you. When I hire these salespeople, I'm going to make sure that these salespeople have verifiable sales experience before I bring them in. I am not going to hire someone, pay them a lot of money to train them from the ground up. Man. Years and years ago, IBM used to have a training program that took six months. IBM, and that's, that's pretty much what would happen. I would literally have to have you by my side. I would have to be on the phone making the sales calls. You put your notepad taking notes for about six months. And I got to pay you to learn what I, like, once again, the salespeople that I will hire will be experienced in sales but I will still have to train them, but I won't have to train them from the ground up. I will have to train them into my methodology. They already know how to do sales. They already know how to make those moves, right? So in the customer service people, I will have to train them. That would be something that's gonna be, cause I gotta train them in the way that I want things done. I gotta train them in the way I want them to send out emails. So, but for sales, because this is probably something that's going to happen this year towards uh, the fall going into winter. And essentially, I mean, all right, you guys want to work, work for me. It, it's just like, <laughs> it ain't going to work, man. It just ain't going to work. So if you want to learn from me, I suggest that you go ahead and enroll in the corporate citizen playbook because will you get to talk to me one-on-one? -on -one? No, you will not, mm -mm. but you will get to ask your questions and to communicate with me during live webinars where there will be a group of people. I know there, and th this is something else that's funny. A lot of y'all want me to sit down and talk to you for free. Um, I've learned that lesson. I've learned that lesson by being in business and giving away for stuff for free and to sit down and have a phone conversation and to uh, actually keep talking and to <sighs> that ain't going to work, man. <laughs> that, that, that's just not going to work. It's just highly, highly unappealing. So today at 5 p.m., I'm going to have a live webinar where you can ask questions about what's going to happen. And everyone that shows up at the webinar is going to get an extremely generous discount. Extremely discount. So that link is below. Be at the webinar so you can ask your questions and then we can have us a good time. But whew, this whole working for me thing, it just ain't going to work. My name is Glendon Cameron. And no, I am not going to hire you because you want to work with me. I'm not doing that. You need to bring me some value. You need to be experienced. That's how you will get to work for me. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.